And today we have a very special guest from Hulu. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rebecca. How are you doing today? Pretty good, pretty good. It, we're about to have a, um, an atmospheric river come through. So I was just outside um, <laughs> trying to get all the tools out of the rain. I'm a little uh, wet. <laughs> so tell me, where did all this begin with? Hello. I'm like really curious on that. Oh, um, well, I don't know. Like, I don't know how much you know and, and how much is going to be boring. So stop me if you've heard this one before. Right. Um, Ryan, so Ryan's my husband and he's, he's the other member of Hello. And we met when, in, in Santa Cruz when we were like babies, you know what I mean? Probably like 19 or 18 or something. And he, his dad owned the local record store um and unbeknownst to me he was in this band that i auditioned to be the singer for and uh so i ended up you know they they never said like you're in come back. they they were just like why don't you just come back next week man so i just kept coming back and um he he actually did not like me at all at all and um and i used to kind of uh torment him you know how are you ryan like try, you know what i mean That's great. um like yeah, kind of being like extra talkative and sweet to him. Um, and eventually I wore him down. And uh, so we've been married 20 some odd years and we've been doing music together the, the whole time. So it's <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I always tell people like if you if you wanna, if you wanna get together with somebody who likes the shit that you like, do the shit that you like to do with other people. You'll meet somebody eventually, like, e you know, even your friends, right? That's the best way to do it. Like my group of friends, for example, like they never knew about the music I was into and now they're hooked on it. And now we bond over all of it. Oh, see, that's awesome. Actually, my latest one I sent to them was actually Wholeness and Separation that you guys made back in, I think, 2006, I believe. Oh, I'll take your word for it. I can't yeah. To this day, it's still one of my favorite albums. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, we, that one was an interesting one because we actually wrote a whole album, trashed it, wrote a whole other album. That's the album. Isn't that, yeah, so in between Wiser, there was a five-year gap, that's why. Uh, yeah, I noticed that. I was always curious about why there was such a big gap, and well, yeah. thanks for answering that question for me. <laughs> um, that was pretty much it. Like, we, and it was weird, like, um, you know, sometimes we'll revisit some of those songs and be like, man, why did we ditch that? I don't know. So maybe one day we'll revisit them, and I doubt it. We're very, we're very, like, on to the new all the time. Yeah. I mean, honestly, progression is great moving forward with all your stuff, including music. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I have a lot of questions about, though, is wholeness and separation, because there's a lot of songs in there that really caught my eye, especially Honey Thief. That one really stuck with me. I want to know the inspiration for that one. Oh, what do you think it is? Well, honestly, listening to it over and over, it's like this one person is trying to be like the one person they are admiring in the case and trying to be better than them, but they realize they can't. At least a little bit. That's kind of what I picked up. I know there's a lot more after we listen to it again, but I know that's one of the things I picked up from it. Also, always well, try to look out for the person who you think is going to be the one to take care of. Yeah, and I'll say this. Um, you know, you often hear people who are like, I don't want to like tell you what it really is about because I don't want to wreck what you think it is. But I mean, I don't know. I'm not that mysterious. I, I was a new mom and I was amazed that no matter how much of a flawed human I am, these kids just keep fucking kicking ass. Like the, my kids are amazing. And um, like, they're phenomenal people and I love them. And so it's like, so it just blows my mind that, you know, you can be as much of a mess up as, as you are. And as long as you really put your heart into it and try your best, you're gonna do fine. Don't worry I, about it. You I know? love that, that is wonderful. Yeah, and it was it was rough because I was you know um, we were very young when we had the kids and 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 honestly it was right around the time uh, of Wiser that that we had the kids and so um, it was like really it was a little difficult to tour as you can imagine so I, I had a brand new baby and I literally took a brand new baby a, across the country with us like Damn. up and down oh, the, yeah well I got I got one hell of a story to tell from that one. <laughs> 
Yeah, I um I remember I like our son was sitting in the back seat of like a car that my dad loaned us, and because you know it was on the East Coast, and uh, I had to read Hop on Pop so many freaking times. I was like, I have this book memorized by now. I literally, I literally think, I think that, and I'm not even sure, like one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, like all that shit. Like my hat is old, my teeth are gold. I, like, I'm not even kidding. Like I could just recite it for you. I read it so many times right. on that tour. Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> well, I mean, I can guarantee you they have a lot of stories to tell. Like imagine how awesome it must be having a mom who's a singer, let alone one who's part of an amazing band like that. And same with the father who is in the same band. That's amazing. I, I'll tell you, I don't think that they think we're that cool. You know what I mean? You're they're not supposed out. to think we're that they're, cool. they're missing out then. Like, goodness. <laughs> um, but I'll say this. Did you check out that link that I sent you? That's yes, I did. Yeah. I'm going to look into right. it over again because honestly, I never knew about that because I always looked at the alternative stuff. I never knew about any of the metal stuff until now. So yeah. I'm oh. going to be looking into that. Oh, and awesome. I, yeah. Whenever I listen to your stuff, I use it more as a stuff to vibe and relax to say yes. having a bad day I just put on that stuff and I'm good that music is a big stress reliever for me and a lot of my friends too who I've gotten into it so it helps us a lot through our days mainly yeah I I think that's a great way to use music music uh, is a great way of healing like a lot of people have I do show that too have noticed that yeah I agree I totally agree you know, in, other... in fact that's kind of what that's like how I approach songwriting really is like um, Ryan, a lot of times will have a sketch and usually I, it'll just be like a bass, bass line and drums. Um, and I come up to them with a melody based on that, but it's usually like, how is this song making me feel? What is it reminding me of? Like, what am I nostalgic for right now? Or what am I thinking about? Like, what is it making me feel like think? And so that that'll typically be what I write about. Um, you know, or if I've got some shit I'm dealing with right then, it's a great way to deal with shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's the big reason i'm into the metal genre because it's all just pure emotion yeah it is yeah and it's it's funny because that's i think um ryan has often said that like he he approaches it and i do too we're very like workman like about um working on new music and um so it's very it's it's you know even even if you're not inspired you don't have to sit around waiting for some you know shock from the heavens to inspire you there's no muse there's no muse you just show up and do your work mm -hmm. yeah and That's then it. like eventually you get in that spot where it just you know the whatever they call flow sometimes like <laughs> where you just your time flies and you an hour it could be two hours you have no idea and you're just caught up in it mm -hmm. oh I, I totally get that like when i'm doing this stuff the time just flies by so I do understand that aspect. Yeah. Well, and it's great when you have to think on your feet, like when you're interviewing someone, you have to go like, well, where am I going to go from here? Exactly. <laughs> That's how it was my first one. Like, I'm just like, where do I go from here? What do I do? <laughs> oh, goodness. What is the inspiration behind Stone Fruit? Because that one also was really good. I really appreciated that one. Oh, that's a weird one. Um, that's a really weird one. I was uh, I was training for a marathon, and I was <laughs> I was running under these fruit trees, and they were just pelting me with with plums. And it was just like, yeah, I was just getting pelted with plums. And I remember thinking, like, I kind of know how that feels, like where you're just spilling over with goodness, and you just you want to share it. Um, and so it was kind of like a, a love song to to spring and 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 the bounty of <laughs> the earth man i'm telling you that is some hippie ass shit that i just spilled on you <laughs> well, i love it trust me i love it that <laughs> wonderful that, actually that just made my day actually to be honest <laughs> my day. Uh, yeah. yeah that whole album though like i re i listened to it a lot it's one of my personal favorites actually i was playing it earlier today before we got wow. set up Thank you. It's funny, Ryan. Ryan was um, just reminded me of that album the other day, and he was like, "Man, I don't think people listen to that one." And I, I, I feel like it was under. I, I think it, we regretted the five year gap and felt like it could have it could have done more if we. Two things. I feel like it, like it lacks a singular vibe, 
And I think sometimes when you put on an album, you kind of want to get into a zone and just stay there. And we, that's one thing that we never do. We never just get you there and then keep you there. We, this one's angry, this one's sad, this one's, and it's like, it will take you all over the map and it's a little distracting, I think, which, which is awesome. It's, it's, our, it's its own thing. But I, I think that that one goes a little bit wide in its, in its uh, breadth. And so I, I feel like because it lacks a singular vibe, it's like people didn't know where to put it. Oh, They're like, well, what is it then? Honestly, I think it's perfect as is because the way the <laughs> vibe switches is actually really good. I find it to be relaxing and relaxing in itself. The way it changes, that's actually one of the favorite things about the album that well is to me. Because it's like it's like you said, it's different vibes. I honestly love that. It's oh, well, nice. up, and it's just it makes it a lot more like it's more pleasing to hear that than most stuff today. Hence why that is still one of my favorite albums. The way the vibe changes is what makes it wonderful in my opinion. Well, thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, and then I just just the five year gap, man. Like we any any um, momentum. Oh, okay. Can you still you can still hear me, right? My Zoom is telling me things loud and clear. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to leave. I, yeah, I think it's um, I, I'm signed in on like multiple machines and it. Just, I got you. No problem. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's been a it's been a busy day. Yeah. If I, if I knew it was that busy, I would have done a better day where you had more time. <laughs> no, actually, I think tomorrow is tomorrow's going to be worse. Although I wonder if we'll even have power tomorrow. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of snow in my area, so I don't even know. Yeah. Oh, it's snowing where you are, right? Yeah. How many inches did your did you get? I think maybe about five or six. It's yeah. still going. It's still going. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I'll take that over fires. Honestly. Yeah, oh yeah oh yeah the fires out here i, I could imagine used to be like I, I would be like all anxious when it wouldn't rain because uh you know drought yeah and now i'm all anxious when it when it rains because it's just making fuel for fire so it's like you, you're just fucked if you do fucked if you don't it's like either way <laughs> are, you from, are you from california yeah oh nice i actually interviewed a band from there yesterday oh really yep it's what a part? metalcore group called revile they're they're newer but yeah, I was um that I was their first interviewer yesterday, so it was a blast. Oh, awesome! That's cool. They must be very new then. Yep, they um just released their I think first big single recently. They have a few other songs out right now, but they're still really making their way. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, uh, so you know, like that album, it's it still is one of my favorites because of the different vibes, and it just leaves something really nice for each song for the listener actually i was playing upstairs with my cats one time and they went from running around going berserk to falling asleep <laughs> no it was like it was adorable because they never sleep the music like that they're always like chaotic so it's nice to have something that actually helps them put them to sleep well that's awesome at least you didn't say your dog started howling or something uh no the dog, the dog loves it too actually <laughs> i am they're sleeping right behind me they're really cute that's wonderful. They're all snuggled. But yeah, what's next for Halo? Like, I'm really curious about that. Or, oh, oh, sorry. Um, so we've been putting out, we've been putting out music a little bit this last year. Like we put out a few songs, um, little just like one-off songs here and there, but, but they're adding up. And um, so we've put out a few by now. And we just finished an EP and it should actually come back from mastering today. Um, and I, I personally have been, I'm actually interested in finding a label this time around. You know, we've been just putting stuff out ourselves for a really long time and, and that's worked for us. It's been great. But um, one of the things that I love about a label is that you, you get introduced to people that wouldn't normally find you. Yeah, it helps spread the name. It does. And I, I would love to find a label. And, but, the, but again, you know, we have that weird issue where we never, we never comfortably fit in a in a genre, you know, um, where people will say we're we're trip hop, but like, is there even a trip hop label? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like we're the and honestly, um, I never I think speaking of trip hop and that whole thing, I, I actually don't mind being called that. That it says like somewhere on like Wikipedia or something that we have always rejected that term. And I think I think we did reject that term. I think that we did because 
we didn't approach it trying to get to trip hop. And I think people thought that we were like, we're a trip hop act. That's what we do. We never fucking did that. And I think we just landed there. You know what I mean? Um, and here's something, this is, this, this, I think it actually tells you more about, uh, well, well, I guess it's almost like a failure on my part, but like, um, you know, people often compare me to the singer of Portishead, which is, I get it now. Like I fucking hear it. I totally hear it now. I could not hear it when I was younger. And I was like, I'm not even trying to sing. Like I was fucking trying to sound like Liz Frazier straight up. I was trying <laughs> And people are like, yeah, she sounds just like the chick of course. And I was like, I never fucking tried to do that. <laughs> Wait, so, hey. <laughs> yeah, so there it is, right? And and so like the whole trip hop thing, I I I take a lot of credit for it. I think it's partly my fault, like you know, because if if like oh, and I actually did try um recently. It was it was probably last year. We put out it was a song, what the fuck was it? It was, a, it was a Depeche Mode cover. And it was the first time in my life where I said, you know what? I'm gonna sound exactly like the chick from Forest Fed. I'm gonna lean in, let's see what happens. And sure enough, man, I sound exactly like her. And everyone was like, oh man, this, this Depeche Mode cover is really good. <laughs> doesn't sound like anything you ever did before. And I was like, really? It doesn't sound like anything we did before? I was like, I was leaning in to Portis Head. Finally, I was like, let's do this. Let's fucking do it, man. And everyone was like, nah, man, this sounds so new. Like, what the fuck? Okay. I guess it's like, it, I can only get there if I'm not planning it. I guess that's the lesson. Yeah, <laughs> I totally get that. Because sometimes it's about taking risks and see where it gets you. It's all about risk taking, especially in the music industry. And that's a yeah. prime example. And I think it worked out really well, to be totally honest with you. Well, thank you. And I, it's um, regarding the, the risk taking thing. Like, I love that we're not a professional band. Like we're, that's not my job. That's not my day job. It is literally something I do. I spend most of my time when I'm not like making money to, to live. Um, I do pretty much, that's what we do, but, um, but like, that's not, that's not my day job. And so the great thing about that is I can just do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. now i love that aspect because it's like yeah. when you get super creative like that there is no limit that's yeah. actually one of the best parts about not having a label is you can do whatever you want whatever you feel like making there is no limitations right that's why that's why when i see solo artists or artists without labels i give them a bit more credit because they don't have to obey any of the curriculums for labels they can just do whatever they feel like and that's what i was wondering like is there even curriculum for labels you know what I mean like do they care anymore like are Sometimes. they you know we'll see some, I, I have no do. idea you know I'm just gonna this will be a first time even trying to look at labels in forever I mean some some do some don't it really depends on what company you go to because there's a bunch of different companies for metal there's like rise records and nuclear blast like there's all different companies for all the different labels so it's more of just take your pick and see what they give you but yeah. also, like people who do this stuff without labels, they can go as crazy as they want with the music. And I find that amazing. That's actually one of the big reasons why I've loved Halo's work, because it's always different. The vibes always change. It's always a new story with each song. That's what I really fell in love with. Oh, thank you. Um, well, I'll say this. I mean, the EP is the EP that we just finished. And so it's not like anybody else is going to change it. We wouldn't change it. So, uh, you know. If if there if we find a label that's interested in putting it out, then we do. And if we don't, we put it out. Either way, it gets out. I'm fine. <laughs> Honestly, as long as it reaches the listeners, that's all that really matters. That's all that really matters in the end. Ah, uh, yeah. And that's the thing. Like I was kind of hoping that, you know, there would be like a nice way to be introduced to a different set of people. But yeah. you know, well, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna like die if that doesn't happen yeah i'll see that's why i started this page which helps spread music because i want to get back to the community i think that's awesome i think that's awesome yeah and um and since you like so many genres you'll have a, a you know a breadth of different stuff to cover mm -hmm. that's the best part of it it's like i'm always busy now and i find it amazing 
Yeah, it's awesome. And you do, and you do uh, games too, right? My friend covers games. We here's oh. how our page works. There's two team members, me and my friend. I take care of everything music related, interviews, etc. And then he does all the gaming and comic stuff. We split up the work. Oh, that's just, good. Just a bunch of nerds who want who want to make a little hobby out of it, essentially. I love it. Yeah, it has its perks. <laughs> like, well, I guess like that you get to talk to you know folks that you were curious about since mm -hmm. two thousand and six or whatever. Oh, honestly, I have been waiting a long time for this opportunity, and I'm happy I finally had it. Oh, like, this made my day. Well, that's so sweet. I gotta tell you, um, I, when you first contacted, I was like, God, are you sure you want to interview me? Because I'm not very mysterious. I'm, you know what I mean? And I think people usually want me to be, and I'm just not. Yeah. So sorry. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, that's not what I want at all. I just want the stories from the creators and to thank them personally, because music Aww. has saved my life more times than I can count. I, you know what? I love hearing that, and I relate to that. Same. Yeah. No yeah. matter what it is, metal, alternative, it's just each what each type of music has a way of helping, and I just think that finally being able to thank the creators is just a big thing for me. So, well, that's cool. So thank you. Well, thank you. Now I do have one final question to ask. Okay. What was the biggest piece of advice you ever got when you started out in music? Uh. Oh, I think that's actually pretty easy. Um, it was it was uh, from my father. Largely, I mean, there's two pieces of advice that kind of have guided my life, and and I and by like life, my music, and and I heard them around the same time, and I was really really young. And the the first one uh, was from my mother, and my mother said, uh, "Sometimes you have to ask yourself," but she would say it like this. Sometimes you have to ask yourself if the fucking you're getting is worth the fucking you're getting. I can I really understand that. I, I really <laughs> understand that. And so I was like, wow, that is, and it, just, it blew my head clean off because I was, you know, just, I was like, I couldn't even believe she was saying that to me because I was just really young and kind of blew my mind. Um, and, and it's so true. And, and, and she followed it up by saying, you know what? Sometimes it is. And uh, it's true that, to say that, like, you know, sometimes it's worth it. It's fucking worth it, right? And you may be, mm -hmm. you may be putting up with some shit that it might be worth it. But you, but you have to keep asking yourself. You have to keep asking yourself, is, is it worth it? And so, um, you know, it, it, it guides my entire life. So if, if I'm working with somebody and they're not, uh, and, and I feel like they're taking more from me uh, then they're giving me back. Fuck that, man. I'm out. Exactly. Yeah. And so that's one thing. That was one thing that my, my mother told me. And then my father told me, uh, he said, there are assholes everywhere. And he, and, he, and he said, don't think that just because they're a doctor, they're a lawyer, that they're not also an asshole. And I was like, huh, you know, you're right. Um, and, and so when I, I I'm not, uh, how do I say this? I'm, I'm less likely to give you a pass based on whatever title or position that you may hold. Um, and I am more likely to judge you based on your actions. Um, and I recognize that there are genuinely assholes everywhere. And so, uh, and I'm sure you recognize that one too. <laughs> oh, I do. I have dealt with too many. Yeah. It's hard, it's hard to find good people these days. It really is. Yeah. And so um, those two things have just, they kind of guided me. And I've actually written both of them into songs. So at some point. I think it's amazing that people do that. Like they take the best advice they get and put it, they add it to the songs, which just, it just really adds to the, well, to the career path in a way, because it makes it so uh, you have more good stuff coming out and it's still good to listen to because you can find the meaning in all the songs. It, that just adds to it. That's yeah. the experience to me. All right. Yeah. So um, that was a good question. Advice. And, and it's funny because you I bet you were expecting me to be like, you know, 
always open with the, this set or, you know, do your set list in groups of three or whatever, which by the way, is a good piece of advice that I recently received. I mean, that is good advice, but what you said before, like about the interesting thing, it's not, I, I, it's not always a new treat for me to hear the advice that other people get, especially in this kind of field. Like I don't expect any certain type of advice. It's just whatever I hear, I just take into account and kind of really think about the value of it. And so oh. far, both of those had fantastic value. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Again, not not super mysterious, but definitely straight to the point. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Well, thank you for yours. It was lovely meeting you. It was lovely meeting you as well. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful day. And this is the end of this interview. Awesome.